Now let's see what's going on here. Originally, you have zero, and we're saying that zero is equal to zero plus zero plus zero plus infinitely many zeros. And then because we know zero is equal to one minus one, so we replace all the zeros with one minus one. And then we kept the very first one, and then here we have negative one plus one, negative one plus one, negative one plus one, and so on, so on, so on. This one still stays, but negative one plus one is zero, and then negative one plus one is zero, and negative one plus the next one is zero, and so on, so on, so on. Of course, all these right here are just zeros, so finally we just end up with one. Cool. Because we're saying 0 is equal to 1. So what's going on here? So here's the deal. Originally, we are saying that 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus infinitely many of them. This is OK. It's redundant, but it's OK. However, the next line is not OK, even though each 0 is equal to 1 minus 1. But when we have infinitely many of these, it's no longer true. If you look at this right here, we have 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, and so on. This right here is a geometric series with common ratio equal to negative 1. In fact, this right here does not converge. This right here certainly is not equal to 0. So the false is from here to here, so this is not true. And of course, the rest don't even look at it. 